Nug, I got to get Nugget laying down right there. Oh, he's he he's out. He is tired. He drug me up last night. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back out on location. I've got the Nugster with me again. This is like his fourth trip to Texas, third time with me. Uh, he's headed up to the Garrett hunt here this weekend, but uh, he came in early and stayed with me a couple of days. And we came out here to uh, a friend of ours, uh, Mr. Bobby Sullivan with CS Sales. If you ever got a detector and you just check him out, CS Sales. He sells uh, all types of detectors. And, uh, but we're out here on his location down here in Louisiana. And we, on, we are on the spot that is in between the Battle of Mansfield and the Battle of Pleasant Hill. And this is where Tom Green, anybody knows the Civil War knows the Tom Green bullets. Tom Green bullets have been found out here. This is where Tom Green actually was holding off the Union troops in order for the troops to assemble up at Mansfield to have the main battle up there. And so there's been a lot of bullets have been found out here, different buttons and stuff like that. And so let me spin you around. I'll kind of show you what we're looking at. Now, this is kind of what we're looking at today. It's just going to be all this uh, right away, and there's going to be some wood hunting, and it's going to be some open pasture over here. And there's just stuff all through here, all through the woods. And uh, so hopefully we're going to get something. What are you going to get, Nugget? I'm going to get a Tom Green bullet. Well, that's the, that's the big find. That's the one of the most rare Civil War bullets there is, is a Tom Green. Oh, well, I'm after it. And so we're going to be after it. Maybe go coins, some silver coins too. Yep, and if I don't get that, I'll at least get a CS buckle. So. Well, well, I get the buckle. <laughs> I get the buckle. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, I always get it. Not you. You've got many buckles. I haven't got one buckle yet. So, uh, well, let's get suited up and let's get the swinging. <laughs> Nugget is freezing. His Texas 55 degrees this morning. He thinks it's Alaska cold. There's our, I've got my Equinox. I did bring, we're going to do a heads up little competition later on with the Apexes. I brought my Apex and he brought his Apex. And so we're going to go for one hour. Who can find the most stuff with the Apex? He's going to hunt with his AT Pro. And I've got my Equinox out here. And so we're just going to be setting it up in just regular park one and try that and sensitivity about 22. And uh, see what we can find out here. Right here was an old house site. So we're going to check this out first. But let's get the swinging. All right, I just got my first signal. We've walked probably uh, about 300 yards or so from the truck. Uh, Nugget is way on down, down the road there a little bit. He's a little bit more impatient. I'm taking my time. He's just walked through here, but he's missed this bullet. It was ringing up as an 18, 19 on my uh, Equinox. And it's gonna be there's some Tom Green's bullets out here. And uh, this one is going to be, not sure what that is. I like it though. I'll take it. That's what we're out here for, digging relics today. So hopefully we'll find more of these. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what a Tom Green bullet looks like. So uh, I need to look that up online. And uh, I don't, I'm not up on my, on my bullets that well but anyway we're gonna set that right there get a picture and we're gonna keep on swinging i'm working this old log road just growing up all around here but i came on this road and I'm seven two. so i don't know what this is going to be maybe a bullet <coughs> Usually bullets ring up like a 18, 19, 17. We'll find out what it is together. Still in the hole. That's a good sign. It's deep. And nope. It's going to be modern day trash. Ah. Oh, well, got to dig the trash to find the treasure. Let's keep going. It's been a while since my last target. I walked probably two miles, but my truck is parked back up on that right away. And I just came back through the woods just to have it been a lot. I found that one bullet in that fairway, I mean, that uh, right away, and went down, made it right. 
nugget went off in the woods and stuff and I decided to stay out because when I went in the woods and came out I had a tick growing <laughs> crawling on my arm so I took my clothes shirt off and looked for ticks I don't want any ticks on me and uh, so I came back down this little little right away and came back out on this oil field right away here you can see that I'm on and uh, I got an 1819 about six eight inches deep and decided to dig I should have set my other camera up and did it live but all right it's probably about six inches deep but I just popped it out it's right there and I'm not sure what kind of bullets these are they're flat on the bottom I don't know my Civil War relic bullets very well kind of wipe it on my pants and we get to see what it is here there we go y'all know what that is what kind it is got a flat base let me know all right let's keep going there's, there's gonna be bullets out here now all right me and nugget have walked about what'd you say three miles? Yeah, three miles three miles and we have found three bullets so we're averaging one bullet per mile and it's hard and uh so we're just gonna before we call it a day we're gonna go and we're breaking out the apexes i brought my apex nugget's got his apex and so we're going to do what we call an apex challenge you know i'm a mine lab guy but i also hunt with garrett stuff too he's a garrett man so we're going to go back down here on this right of way that's down here and i found one bullet down here so we're just going to go for one hour we're going to walk a half a mile turn around walk it back and whoever can find the most treasures with the apex is going to be the winner so we're fixing to get at it and we'll show you when we get back who's going to be the winner is it going to be nugget is it going to be pd who do you think is going to be nugget me, obviously. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a little bias. Uh, we'll see, and we'll show you when we get back. All right, guys, we didn't find too much at that other location back on Thursday, so we quit early and we went in. And Nugget took off and went to the Texas, uh, I mean, to the Garrett hunt. And uh, I went up there on Saturday. We visited for a little while, and we met this guy that I had talked about, I talked to a couple of years ago. And he was at Nugget's uh, booth, and we ended up talking with him, and he invited us to come back down to where we were almost at uh, back last Thursday. This is on Monday now, so we're going back down to the Battle of Pleasant Hill. And um, so I got me a mystery guest. Nugget was still at the show, and, and uh, so I don't know if he's, no, I don't know. No, I got a mystery guest over here. Y'all know who it is. Nugget Nugget getting the film right there. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do something funny, but he didn't. So anyway. But Nugget's with me again, it's on Monday. We're gonna go back down here and we got location up on a clear cut field. And right there on the battlefield itself, I believe we got access to go out and do some digging. And so we're headed back down, we're just about there. Hopefully we'll find something this time. We only found three bullets the last time. Get in here, Nugget. <laughs> yeah, get in here. And uh, so hopefully we'll get something. But uh, when we do, we'll get the camera on. We'll show you guys. So, but what are we gonna get, Nugget? Uh, maybe at least something. Better. <laughs> hopefully <laughs> something. Get something. Last time we come, we got nothing but three bullets. So we're just hoping for something. So we'll see you guys out there in the field. Well, this is a real neat place. There's a clear cut right across the road. Uh, we can hunt 
and somewhere else we're gonna hunt. I'm not sure, but here are the, my other friends are. So we're gonna get out here, get suited up, get ready to swing. How you doing? Nug, I got a nugget laying down right there. He's, he's out, he is tired. He struck me up last time. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jason. Make a deal with the... How you doing? And what's his name? Rod. Rod, this is Rod. We're gonna be hunting with Jason and Rod. And so he's another preacher digger too. He's a missionary digger, we should call him. But they, they invited us to come out today, and so we're looking forward to getting out here and do some swing and see what we find. So let's go do it. Yeah, this is what we're digging in today. I'm just back in these woods. This is where the battle happened. It's grown up since then. It's been clear-cutted and grown up again. And so far, all I've found is just a couple of bullets. Uh, just a little pistol shot. I don't think they're even Civil War period. And so, just keep swinging, see what we come up with. Well, what do y'all think? Should I do it? It doesn't look like it on camera, but uh, that log is about 12 feet above the water. And uh, at my age, wisdom tells me not to do this, but to go down there and then go up over there. Because if I go across there, I will end up down there but with a broken leg. But we're down here in the ravines, back in the woods. This is where uh, uh, the fight was happening. And the Union fire pits are right back in here. And and so we're searching on the side of these hills. We haven't found anything yet, but if we do, we'll definitely show it to you. All right, let's keep swinging. Well, I've got my, we're almost up to the house, and I got a 19 to 18, get in the shade here, you can see it, I've got a little round ball uh, that still hasn't even been smoothed over, you can see where they poured it and cut it out of the mold right there. So that is all that we have gotten today, but I'll take that, that's a little bit, bit of history, and so, Jason, what do you think? Glad you found something. Yeah, we got something, didn't we? Yeah. All right, let's keep on swinging. See what else we get.